So now let's talk about the composability first. What is the meaning of composability? So the application built in the cloud often have the property of being built from a collection of components, a feature referred to as a composability. Now, all the features of uh, cloud computing or all the property of cloud computing is not one application, right? So it is a combination of different applications and these modules are separate and independent. And when we combine those separate or independent application and we'll collect it in a form of a component which will create the cloud computing, then that particular feature of cloud computing would be referred as composability, okay? So composability is nothing but the collection of component. A composable system uses component to assemble services that can be tailored for a specific purpose using a standard parts. A composable component must be modular and must be stateless. Now let's talk about uh, this. Now it says that the to create a, a whole services together, we need to combine different services, right? And different services are in the form of different components. Those components are definitely, those are independent component. And when we combine these independent component, component together, this is called composability. Now the composability could be achieved by the two properties of composable component. What is this? The first property of composable component is modular and the second property is stateless. So what is modular? Modular is, it is a self-contained and independent unit that is cooperative, reusable and replaceable. Modular means it, it is some sort of module which is self-contained as well as independent unit. They are not dependent to any other unit or any other module of the cloud computing environment or cloud computing stack. And the property should be, they should be cooperative, means they can, uh, they can cooperate with different modules. We can reuse them. So it is just like, a, uh, independent function in a program, right? So function could be used again and again. So it, modular is just like that. We can reuse it. So reusability is there and replaceable. So we can replace that particular module without any problem because there is a property of independency. So if any module is independent, we can take it out and we can put it somewhere else. Next is the stateless. Stateless is the, is the property of the cloud. Means in the cloud computing, we use the, we use the uh, component which is stateless. So what is stateless? A transaction is executed without regard to other transaction or request. Now stateless means executed without regard to other transaction. So if we have, uh, initiated a transaction in the, into the cloud. So that transaction will be initiated and will be executed without regard to other transaction or request. So all the transaction, all the requests of the cloud computing should be independent to each other so that they can run um, without any issue or without any problem. Next property of a stateless is, uh, let's say we are doing uh, a number of operation into the cloud. So the state of that particular uh, transaction would not be stored somewhere. So when we store some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, state, it means that uh, there might be the issue that can occur uh, in future and we have to go back into our previous state, okay? So cloud computing is that much of confidence so that we doesn't have the uh, state there. We have the state less uh, executions of the transaction of the request 
into the cloud. Although cloud computing doesn't require that hardware and software to composable, it is highly desirable characteristics for a developer or user standpoint because it makes system design easier to implement and solutions more portable and interoperable. Now the, the composability is, we know that it is a collection of component, right? When we make a collection of component, it is called composability.